Get in with it. Yeah. Go to first punch. Man. But isn't that like that? I saw our man Garcia throw the last punch too, didn't we? Now, what I gotta ask you about Garcia is, was he the best fighter tonight? Absolutely not. <laughs> and I'm not surprised about it. Why's that? Man, I called it Ryan Garcia. He throws punches with his eyes closed. He pretty much only has one punch. He wasn't really using his right hand very much. Didn't really look very good out there. Looked very amateurish. And also the fact that Luke Campbell, if Luke Campbell was going to drop Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Who is Luke Campbell? I believe that was Ryan Garcia's most recent opponent before tonight. But if Luke Campbell dropped Ryan Garcia, then yeah, Tank Davis is definitely going to drop Ryan Garcia. And he did it twice. Yeah, and Davis had that punch in the second round, right to the guy's head. Mm -hmm. He got up immediate. And then in the seventh, what takes him down is the one to the liver. Game over, lights out. What's yeah, that about? he had him taking a knee like Colin Kaepernick when the national anthem's playing. All right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what I'm saying is incorrect. <laughs> Come on. What I'm saying. Come on. What is it that makes it so dangerous to get hit like that? What is the fighter's word on that? What is it that a fighter would know is that somebody who's not a fighter wouldn't? Yeah, taking shots to the body is not something I'd recommend. Your liver is one of the most vulnerable spots, one of the most vulnerable places in your body, and actually shocks your body quicker than a headshot, believe it or not. That's why a lot of guys, when they take too much shots to the body, they automatically just get down on one knee. That man, tonight, one shot to the body, down on one knee. Yeah. One shot to the body and he's down like Colin Kaepernick on his knee. That, I couldn't even see it. When it happened, the headshot, no problem. Caught that in a heartbeat. It's right to his face. The whole planet's looking at that like, how's anybody getting up after that if they don't know what they're looking at? But the one to the body, even the man throwing the punch, Mr. Tank himself said, I didn't know it did that. Caught him off guard, and he's the one who's making contact. I think it's tricky like that. He had a delayed reaction to it, too. That was cool. That was like, what do you think that was? He was standing tall? What? I, was that just natural reaction to the body getting hit? Yeah, I know he felt it, for sure. He felt it, and then he tried to move, and I guess his breathing was off with it. That's what made him take that in. Hey, everybody. This is Quincy. He's got... 33 fights to his name out here visiting in Las Vegas tonight. The two of us went out, caught up with the gang of boxers. Everybody's in training, watching the fight. Heck of a time. The Vegas, correct. I don't know what he's going to do in chess tonight, but he has as much skill in boxing as anything else. He's a bum movie almost. Everything I just said about the man, and that's what he says. <laughs> What I did last move was move my bishop. bishop oh, did sorry. you do anything since that happened? No. So whose move is it? Yeah, it is my move. All right, let's get moved now. Go ahead. All right, but we've been getting into some conversation. We've been getting into some X-Men, honestly. Yeah, we have. X-Men is the shit. And I think I'd take after Gambeast. That'd sound a little bit like Wolverine. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you got some of that lone wolf sort of protectory kind of type. Yeah, because people are scumbags. You know what, though? Some people that are in positions of power are scumbags and nobody's willing to say it. Like a Cyclops left behind Morph to die. Oh. The only person who was saying anything about it was Wolverine. Yeah, that's true. But there's even people that aren't in positions of power that are scumbags. There's people who will actually need help from people and then they'll still be a scumbag unappreciative pieces of shit. I think it's all right to just leave it in okay. terms of X-Men. Okay. All right, all right. You talking about the first X-Men movie yeah. that came out in 2000? Uh, maybe, I remember yeah. I took off a day of school to see that in Lord of the Rings. Oh, nice. I had the Lord of the Rings video game. Okay, I'll tell you what though, I barely remember Lord of the Rings and I remember X-Men for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, especially Halle Berry. Oh yeah, that's Halle Berry, man. We got these moves moving. We got that X-Men show, and we had a moment there where those Sentinels coming out. And you have a uh, few guys going after him. Wolverine takes one out. How does he do it? He just claws up on his back. Jumps him. Just yeah. straight up like that. Face to face. That there, I think, takes courage in a way that 
When Cyclops is taking down a Sentinel, he's doing it from far away with laser beams. That's just the powers that they were given. That's not really anybody's fault. It's just like a lead from behind attitude with that guy. Yeah, but if Wolverine had laser beams, he'd use them too. I'm not saying he wouldn't, but I don't know if he had laser beams, mm -hmm. if he'd rely on it like that. I see the man jumping on somebody and then beaming him right to the face with no absolute way that man could avoid that, no way, no how. I think it would just be a bit more personal. Seen something I like on this chessboard. It's called thought. I do have a lot of thanks for the thought of fighters after watching boxing with you all weekend. You know that these guys know what they're doing when they're in there. Professionals at that level, they're not just getting hit and taking hits. They're playing chess with their fists. Absolutely, it's human chess, my man. That's what it is. It's a game of human chess. Yeah, it is. And the dang, the when you get into that type of game and you got your life on your line, there's no question about it. The stakes are high. Right? Yeah. You take a punch in chess, piece falls over, no big deal. Get another piece, you get another game. But some of those guys, like you said with Muhammad Ali getting banged up for 70% of his paycheck while he's in the hospital bed from the man who's meant to be giving him a paycheck, that's messed up in a way that I don't know about. Like, I don't want to know about ever. It's like that thing about guys in positions of power and they use it in a way where they're meant to be doing something for somebody but then they're doing it to somebody. Right. If you want to see how a person truly is, you give them some sort of autonomy. You really do want to see what a person really is. Yeah. And you take their queen and see how they react to that. <laughs> some autonomy is good though. Too much autonomy, I don't know if it even exists. I think that's some nonsense. Somebody's got a lot of autonomy, somebody else will recognize and they'll call it for what it is. They're not going to keep it for too long. I guess I could take the bag, yeah? <laughs> that would have been a stupid move right there. All right. What we got in the world of stupid moves today and this last week? I think we played okay overall. There was that time I got my queen took a week ago. Yeah, a woman texted me in the middle of that. That was it. I thought she was all right. I still think she is today. It made me okay with losing that game because I was like stoked, stoked that she sent what message she sent. Mm, okay. Well, what was the message about? Or maybe I shouldn't even ask. A book. Oh, okay. A book. She's a writer. I'm a writer. Okay. Check. And part of it was not even the words of the message, but just that the message got through to her. And that was what was cool. What I'm trying to do is put together for her and for me a new style, if you wanted to call it that, of publishing. And she is a solid writer. And just that she's even listening, man, all right. That was cool. Check. We talked about books. It's worth reading a book if you're going to learn something. Check. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not worth it so much if you're not. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Some You could be compelled by a story. It's all about what the story's about. Some people are really good storytellers. That's what you want to talk about? Some people are really good storytellers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Some of them need a campfire, boy. Yes. Some <laughs> of them got everything but the campfire. Check. Isn't that some? Storytellers, they seem in certain technology places, admirable. And you get it with this woman I mentioned. Her name was Elizabeth Holmes. You get it not only with Holmes, you get it with another guy, a man named SBF, Sam Bankman Fried. Okay. Two of them are the biggest frauds in the history of history and the history of fraud. These guys, they took so much money, not only from investors, but from unsuspecting customers, that it became for the one, Elizabeth, she's in jail today and she's not getting out anytime soon. And she's not getting any like leniency. Check. The other one, Sam. Sam is fighting, 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 fighting. And some people believe that it's not the move to do. What it is, he's been accused of fraud and all of the people that worked for him have also accused him of fraud. Not only the guy, but his people. So he had somebody in his circle called Caroline Ellison. Caroline was, in name only it appears, the CEO of a company that he 
fully controlled. Caroline was paid like $2 million for the job. Mm. He was paying her $2 million to oversee into the billions of dollars, into the massive billions of dollars. Mm. And at the end of it, as soon as the heat got turned up, she bailed. Bailed like a farmer. And his other guy, and I don't know the other guy's name, Gary or something, bailed too. Okay. So he's there, he's fighting his case, saying he's innocent. The two top people, the two people closest to him, they're saying that he's not. And people are saying, what are you doing, Sam? Why are you going after and trying to prove your innocence and all that? And while he may well be one of the biggest frauds in the entire history of fraud, I got to say, in that same position, accused of anything, I wouldn't in any way back down. I just wouldn't. I don't think it's a justified way to be. Chuck. Can't do that. My man with the eyes. Yeah, I got him in between a rock and a hard place. Just because you got your queen and I don't doesn't mean that you've got some sort of one-upsmanship. Check. Okay. Between a rock and a hard place, it's the same thing. Yeah, that's the point. I don't know if that's a Chinese proverb, but... Check. Check. You talk about... Chinese problem. You've had a couple of them today. You're scared. I'm scared. That's a Chinese proverb. Oh. <laughs> yeah, in the case of a uh, pretty boy Anthony Taylor. Yeah. It's some tough living to be thought of in that way. It's, an, it's not passing. That's what you call en passant. How's that? That move there is the one that when we play chess in that 3D video game space, they said, why don't you do that? It's called en passant. That means when they're head to head like that, they move right up like that, then that man can go that way in order to get that move. You'd have to be here in this space for that to be possible. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, yeah. You... It's like you like this game or something. What's the matter with it? Knowing the rules and all that? Making mistakes. Check. Oh. Now you gotta pause for a minute? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm right back in it. Okay. All right. That's how I feel about those. Make sure they all stand up. That's all right. Gone but not forgotten. See, there was this point in the day. I got that shirt. One of the people that sold it to me had a tattoo. That tattoo was from a band called Circa Survive. This brings me right back to when I was in my youth. And the person who sold the shirt had that tattoo that when I said it and she said it, we were connected. It was like way nice. Check. Me. How's that? You got no moves? Can't go a little to the corner on that black square? That's oh not yeah. Wait, can I? Nah, I can't. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, have a good night. Uh.